What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video, it has been a while uh, since I have done a Wolves uh, video, uh, it has been a couple of weeks since uh, obviously the international break has been taking place, I was going to do some England, England videos, you know, um, I was planning to do a Croatia uh, like reaction review video, uh, but in the end I didn't really, um, I, I, I decided not to go ahead with that and just wait. Um, the, the full dura duration until uh, the international break comes uh, to a close um, so yeah that's what I've done and now we are only two days away uh, from Wolves being back in action which is absolutely brilliant I think off the back of that um, performance against Arsenal uh, a couple of weeks ago we really should have won that game we were really unlucky not to uh, win that game, to be honest. We, we were one nil up, uh, and then <coughs> and then uh, it, w it was back to one one. Um, a bit of a scrappy goal, uh, and then we should have won it later on. But we just uh, Morgan Gibbs White uh, was just a bit unlucky in scoring his first ever Wolves goal, and it's still a very good point against a, a very good team in Arsenal. Um, you know. You, you still can't doubt them, even though they haven't been winning for the past few games. You still still can't doubt them, because the team they've got is absolutely frightening. Um, they've got Lacazette, Bamiang, who could destroy a team like Huddersfield on any other day. On any other day, could just destroy a team like uh, destroy a team like Huddersfield or Newcastle or so, something like that. Uh, although Newcastle have been doing quite well, quite well, well recently, but that's not the point. Anyway. Um, yeah, a one all draw against Arsenal, very good result. Uh, came unlucky against Spurs when we're three 0 down. We could have pulled it back to three three and possibly um, made the impossible possible by winning four uh, three, but for some refereeing decisions. But um, we move on from that now and we come forward into this game against uh, against Huddersfield. Um, and yeah, I think you know every game in the Premier League is a tough game. Like that's why. It's but that's why when um, that, that's why so many people watch it because it's, it's the hardest and also best league to watch in the world um, pretty much because obviously Barcelona um, Barcelona pretty much win La, La Liga every year um, Bayern Munich pretty much win uh, Bundesliga every year although Dortmund are doing quite well at the moment in Bundesliga but it's generally those sort of teams that win every year um, but with the Premier League, obviously it's different. So, so uh, new teams obviously win it every year. Man City won it last year. The year before it was Chelsea and so on. So it's different winners. It's not just the same continuous win winners every time. That's why uh, the Premier League is so good. But yeah, back to the point I was saying. The Premier League is so hard. The Premier League is such a hard league. Like even against teams in the bottom three, you could potentially slip up against and possibly lose the game. Uh, against a team that's really struggling for goals and maybe they might just nick it. That's prob that, that's one of the reasons why the Premier League is one of the best and my most diverse leagues in the world because uh, be because like you c um, it's not always just a, uh, a win for the better team who has more money. Um, although that is becoming the case now with rich owners in the Premier League. Uh, like Boson and uh, the Abu Dhabi group, um, it there's there's still room for shock results. So we can't uh, we can't we can't slip up uh, against Huddersfield because um, against in against Huddersfield, surely we've got to have a, a field day um, with goals. We shouldn't have a problem. We've we've been having problems with goals of late, um, but. I don't think it should be a problem to be honest. I, I really don't see goals being an issue here uh, unless we play a nil nil draw and we just get really unlucky then obviously our shooting boots are missing and we really desperately do need a striker um, which, which is still the case you know like we still do need a striker whether we win 4 nil or lose 1 nil we, we still do need a striker that is definitely something that is got to be up there uh, in the priority list surely top of the list for for Fosin in the January transfer winner but yeah uh, goals should be shouldn't be a problem in this this game um, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to come by um, 
So yeah, I'm going. I'm going pretty confident. I'm going for a three-one win. Uh, I'm going for a three-one win against Huddersfield. Um, I'm pretty sure we can get back to winning ways. We haven't won in the past few games, although we have put in some good performances uh, here and there over the past couple of games. We just haven't got the the right results that we were hoping for. Hopefully, hopefully we can put that um, uh, that disappointing uh, draw behind us against Arsenal, which is a very good draw still, but it's obviously. In the context now, looking back on it, it was quite disappointing because we actually could have won the game. But, but yeah, um, but yeah, looking uh, looking forward now to to the Huddersfield game. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's the start of things to come. Um, hopefully we can just get get a win against Huddersfield and then just go go on a run again, and find our feet again. Because in the first few games in the Premier League, we were actually finding our feet pretty well, uh, and then. Um, by the opening game in September away at West Ham we finally got that win and then the inside go from there so hopefully we can pick up our form again um, our performances have been picking up on late just need the results to pick up now uh, so hopefully the results uh, can uh, can improve and hopefully it should improve as well because we uh, I think a win does uh, warrant the past couple of performance with, uh, performances the uh, team has been putting in so uh, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we get the win against Huddersfield on Sunday. We should do, um, and yeah, I'll see you on Sunday with the review of the Huddersfield game. And let's let's tr see if we can make this a trend now, uh, make this uh, an ongoing run, um, consistently doing reviews now. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on Sunday with that review. Until then, goodbye, guys. For too long about the mistakes.